Hey everybody, it's me, Diana. Hi. <laughs> I'm here today to, to talk with you a little bit about eraser stamps, and we're going. I'm going to show you how to do these foam stamps. Um, there's some great tutorials on blogs around the internet for uh, hand carving these eraser stamps, which are really excellent tutorials. So. I think there's enough of that out there, so I'm going to show you something a little different. By the way, I will put up the links for the tutorials on my website. I'm going to show you something a little bit different, and that is using this cheap, these cheap foam sheets that you get from the craft store. Um, they come in all different colors. Uh, this is just happens to be a red one. So the first thing you want to do is get your cheap craft sheet, gather a pen, pen, pencil, scissors, a brayer, a rubber stamp, pad, and a piece of cardboard. Oh, and some double stick tape. Okay, so uh, all I did was draw directly onto the rubber stamp sheet. Forgive me, I only have one hand my other hand is holding my camera. Simple enough to draw onto the sheet and it's very simple to cut. This stuff cuts really nicely. I've used this technique with kids classes as well as adults. So you wind up here with, I cut out a little acorn. We're actually I'm going to make this little acorn house. I just trim that out and lastly, you want to use a pencil to indent a pattern. And you just press with a dull pencil. It um, is probably best. And you can see, can you see the little dots I'm getting? And they just stay in the foam core. It's great stuff. Um, after you're finished, sorry about that. After you're finished uh, making your stamp, you take a just I have a black stamp pad here. It's Adirondack. I can use use whatever you have handy, and tap it on there. Get your ink, get it inked up. Rub it around, whatever it takes. Okay, and um, I'm going to show you a little different way that I have. Here's my blank sketchbook here. Um, I lay this stamp into my sketchbook um, behind the page and lay this down and then I'm going to brayer over. I think you get a better impression this way better than stamping in your regular way. Now look, here's the stamp here. I missed that part up there but that's okay. But you can see those white spaces are where I pressed in with the pencil on the stamp. You can't really see it too well here. You can see a little bit. And you can always add more to these. So this is excellent. Oh, by the way, I stuck, I just stick the foam core, the foam stamp down with a little bit of double stick tape. I, I like to use this poster tape because it's not real sticky, it's not permanent. So that's way one, thing one to do. And don't forget, too, that this shape can be turned over and you can do a different, you, I could do a different little acorn house on this side of the shape. So it's really, really economical. Okay, the next thing I want to show you also with the foam is I cut out this, just a simple square. There's nothing big about that, a rounded square. And, sorry, I'm going to go ahead and ink that up. Same way, bang, 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 or whatever. Um, then, I'm taking a doily, one of those plastic doilies I have here, and I'm laying that right on top of the inked area and taking my brayer again. Actually, I like to put 
the flat side of these doilies up. Oh, boy, my hands are really inky. Okay. And just roll it over the top. And you're removing some of the some of the um, ink. I don't know if you can see that really well. Anyway, let's get another. If I wanted to put the stamp here, if I wanted to stamp the image here on my stamp pad, I would just turn the page, slide the stamp in wherever I want it, lay the paper down, and roll away here with my briar. And there you have it. Can you see all that embossed area? You could also, it occurred to me as I was playing around with this for this video, that you could take um, something like, here's another, just a foam stamp that I have. Um, that I actually drew on to. I'm going to take the other side of that and I'm going to take this texture plate. This is a glue plate I glued over and then laid strings into the glue. I'm going to take that I'm going to roll this. I think that embossed anything anything with a texture can be embossed right into these foam stamps. So let's just see what happens here. I don't know. This is this is live. I don't know what's going to happen. I think I might have These are so quick and easy to to um play with. You can do lots and lots of things. So let's just see what happens. Probably going to be one of those situations where, you know, nothing happens, but you could just do it this way. Oh, look, see? Kind of a messy stamping job. Um, but anyway, you get the idea. There's lots of experimentation you can do with this really cheap, cheap way to make some prints. Um, have fun with this and check my blog for those links for Millie and, and Janine's art blog. I think I'll put them up on my blog. Have a great day, y'all. Bye.